Islands represent less than 1% of Lihu Reef's 8,000 square kilometers, but they are essential for a healthy reef ecosystem. Just as we plow and fertilize farmland, nesting turtles turn the sand to lay eggs, and seabirds deposit phosphate-rich droppings. The island's vegetation and seabirds cannot exist without one another. These harsh sand K environments are first colonized by a few species of birds, allowing the first green shoots to appear. Once established and over many years, trees begin to grow, and later, seeds of plants like Pisonia are dispersed by birds to other islands, so the process can begin all over. Unfortunately, it is not just the plants that have found the tiny islands we've been visiting. These birds have a hard enough time as it is surviving in this harsh, harsh climate and, and, and raising their chicks as we've got happening here behind us. And this rubbish that we've got here is really just the tip of the iceberg. Um, when it comes to what's out there in the ocean floating around. You know, it's not just the big items, it's the breaking down of plastics into minute little particles that's now being absorbed into the food chain. And what impact is that having on marine wildlife? You know, it's just, it's just appalling when you, when you can stand here amongst it and see what's going on. It's a shame. The islands of Lihu Reef are part of a vast ocean, but vitally important to the seabirds and turtles that must return to land to nest. Like the reefs that surround here, islands are constantly being destroyed and reformed. And whilst birds like red-footed boobies and black noddies are suited to nesting on islands with trees, you won't find them on the early forming sand caves. Nature has to have a backup plan. So whilst some islands are being destroyed, the habitat on others is just forming. As recently as the 1980s, for example, this island, Lorna Cay, was unvegetated. Today, the grassland here is home to literally thousands of common noddies, brown boobies and sooty terns. With only a small proportion of the tiny land area providing habitat for nesting seabirds and turtles, island communities are poised on an ecological knife edge there is already very little scope for resilience to climate change. Plastic is a byproduct of our fossil fuel dependent lifestyle, and every time we drink water from a plastic bottle, we could be affecting the wildlife on these remote islands.